Hello, uh, my name is Leo Perez. I'm a tutor at Magic, and this tutorial is gonna cover some basics on uh, texture mapping, or otherwise <clears throat> known as uh, just UV mapping. Um, so uh, it's gonna vary depending on your model. Here I have a sword, um, very basic, uh, very low poly. So obviously it'll be a lot easier to uh, to go about it. Uh, but if you have one that's a lot more dense, then it can get a little bit more complicated. Uh, but you know, one step at a time. Um, okay, so uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, by default, this uh, up here uh, is the icon for the UV editors. Just double click it and it should come up. Um, I already always kind of always, I pretty much always have it uh, open. Uh, I created this uh, sword, um, so it doesn't come UV'd, um, but if you start, for example, if you open a primitive cube, for example, see, it'll look like this, so it'll have like these default UVs, um, but I'm going to go over uh, creating your own from uh, an existing mesh that doesn't have any UVs, so... If you if you ever want to uh, if you have an existing mesh and you just want to delete its existing UVs, the what you want to do is just select the meshes that have the UVs that you want to get rid of and just go to edit and delete and it'll just delete the existing UVs and you can start over. Um, so we're gonna UV each piece here. There's only three pieces, two, three. All right. So let's start with the blade. Um, if you ever want to uh, isolate one particular mesh. Uh, if you hit Control One, it isolates the the selected mesh, um, so that way uh, it'll be a lot easier to uh, to look over. Um, go to I have shortcuts here, but where you want to do select the mesh you uh, select the mesh you want to UV, uh, and then you just go to UV up here, and go to Planar, and then don't click Planar, click the box on right here, um, and it depends on the axis. Uh, so you could always just uh, trial and error. Uh, sometimes here in the lower left, though, you'll see which axis is facing where. So uh, we'll, we could pick the x, ac x axis and hit apply. And you see it creates this, uh, this frame around the mesh. And you see it took kind of like almost a snapshot uh, on, this, on this square space here. Um, always make sure that it's within this 0 to 1 space. You'll, you'll know where it is so long as you see this green and red, uh, these axis points or arrows or whatever you want to describe them as. Okay, so this is obviously not final. You want to edit this because this, remember, this has, um, this has two sides. So right now, these, this is overlapping. Uh, these are overlapping meshes and normally you don't want to leave it like that. So now we select, uh, we right click over it, select edge. And now you're just going to want to select, you could double click and select the entire edge around it, which actually for, in this case, it's, it's fine. And then, so what we're going to do, okay, we don't need this anymore for now. Like, okay, now we're going to go to cut and sew. See what's now where you're going to click is cut. Okay. So now what we're going to do, uh, with your mouse over the mesh here on the zero to one UV, uh, UV square, right click over it and then go to UV. And now these are, they'll look like you're selecting vertices, but you're not, this is the UVs. And as you can see here on the on the mesh on the left, you see how like, instead of it being purple uh, uh, vertex, vertices, they're kind of like brown. That means that you're in uh, UV mode. So now what you're, you're gonna wanna do is hold down control and then right click and then click UV shell. Um, and then go to the move tool. And then you see, not, you have these two different meshes. Now, what you're going to want to do to, you want to verify they're not flipped, right? So up here, you have the shaded mode and you have UV distortion mode. Uh, I'll go one by one as to what those do. Uh, you want to be, UV shaded tells you if they're flipped or not. So blue means they're right side up. Red means they're flipped the wrong side. So if you put a texture on the red side, it'll look flipped. So you want to make sure to go to, you know, uh, right click over UV, uh, and stay over the, the mesh or the, the, this UV island here. Um, 
hold control and go to go to UV shell. And then what you're going to want to do, I believe it's under modify and flip. So that way, and it's as simple as that. So, okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you want to uh, unfold it. You're going to want to marquee select both uh, and then go to unfold and then just click unfold. Now we're going to get into uh, making sure your UV space is nice and neat. One thing you don't want is like one smaller than the other. The, the smaller you make a UV shell, the more detail is lost on a texture. So in this case, the, the, the blade is one of the most prominent parts of this piece. Uh, and you would want to maintain the most uh, fidelity with the, uh, with the texture. So you want to keep it, you want to keep both. First of all, you want to keep both, uh, both sides, the exact same. So in this case, we're going to, now we're going to sew these two together. We'll just select, uh, and it's the same as selecting an edge here. Uh, hold shift and left click, shift, left click, shift, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. So now what you want to want to do here, you could do either sew or stitch together. And normally it'll come out kind of weird like this. Zoom out, select everything. So then what you're going to do here is hit unfold and it should even out. Now, the tricky part is when we go to this other sh to this other shaded mode, UV distortion mode. Actually, this looks pretty good. So what UV distortion, the information UV distortion mode uh, relays is if there's any UVs that are like UV edges that are too compressed together or too far apart. This, the, the lighter the colors, the means the, the, the more, uh, the, the less issues you'll have with your texture. So you see this, this could be, could be an issue, but let, let's see if we could fix it a little bit. See, the lighter they get, the better. So this, this will probably be more ideal. There we go. Actually, that's probably, that's probably more ideal. Like you may have to compromise. Um, but as you, as you see here, like you see the further they get from each other, that means it, the more stretched they get. And also affecting the middle. So that means that if I leave it like this, for example, the textures will look very stretched out and very distorted. So you want to keep it as light as possible. Even if you see just light blue and a light kind of pink, uh, well, pink, <laughs> um, you can try to tweak it a bit. Yeah, you see here. Okay, perfect. I think that's fine. All right, that should be good enough. So you don't need to spend that that long with it. So just to to to, uh, to turn it off, just click it again. Um, and it's blue. All right. So now we're gonna work on this, and it's I'm gonna use the exact same uh, process. So I'm gonna cut to everything being UV'd. And then we'll, we'll, we'll finish off from there. So now you, what you're going to want to do after everything is UV'd, uh, you're going to want to scale things down and uh, organize it uh, properly, utilizing as much space as you can. Um, remember, the blade and the, the handle are going to be getting most of the, the space. So... Uh, you could either have it lay out, you could select all of it, and you can, if you want to automatic, automate it, you can go to layout, and it automatically kind of does it for you. Um, so, uh, you can have it that way, um, but see here, it, this these little, these ornaments here, uh, let's make them a little smaller, and let's make this a little bigger. And let's move this blade a little bit to the right. And zoom in to make sure that the UVs are not outside. They're not outside the zero to one space. Because uh, if they are, you're going to get errors um, in the whatever uh, software you decide to texture this in. See here, it's uh, outside of the zero to, zero to one space. So let's move that in. And also another thing you want to make sure uh, the meshes themselves are not overlapping. I mean, obviously they weren't before, but 
always like if you're very far away sometimes you have the, all the uv selected or the edges have this uh thick outline it's gonna it's gonna look like they are and that's one thing you don't want ever so like this yeah and that's that's pretty much it uh you're pretty much ready to go to substance or or uh, uh zbrush if you decide to texture there but substance will be the where you would want to go um so if uh you have any other questions uh in the future uh when we're in the lab or on discord uh make sure to ask me or any other tutors um and yeah take care